As police in the UK are saying they've arrested two teenagers in connection with the hostage situation at a Texas synagogue over the weekend. It is unclear if they're facing charges at the time. Officials say that 44-year-old Malik Faisal Akram, a British citizen, was responsible for the standoff, a standoff that President Joe Biden has called an act of terror. Omar Villafranca is following the investigation, and we find him in Colleyville, Texas, for us. Omar, good morning. Good morning. We know the suspect came to the U.S. about two weeks ago through New York's JFK airport. What we don't know is how he got a gun once he got here. Sources are telling CBS News that Akram was able to get into the synagogue behind me by claiming he was homeless, and that's when he pulled a gun. For nearly 11 hours on Saturday, law enforcement stood ready outside of Congregation Beth Israel. Inside, four hostages were held at gunpoint, their Saturday services interrupted by Malik Faisal Akram, whose shouting could be heard on the service's live stream. Because the Americans don't give a about any American life unless he Stacy Silverman is a member of the congregation. She says she watched the live stream until it was cut off. We couldn't see him, only here, because the camera was focused on one of the prayers. And since we couldn't see him, we thought, you know, we just, we were, we were terrified that he'd start shooting. Officials say 44-year-old Akram asked negotiators for the release of Afia Siddiqui, who is currently in federal prison in Texas for the attempted murder of U.S. forces in Afghanistan. She's suspected of having ties to al-Qaeda and has even been called Lady al-Qaeda. In a statement, Siddiqui's legal counsel said, we want the assailant to know that his actions are wicked and directly undermine those of us who are seeking justice for Dr. Afia. Shortly after 5 p.m., Akram released one of the hostages. After four more hours of negotiations, the FBI's elite hostage rescue team, flown in from their base in Quantico, Virginia, moved in. After a loud bang and the sound of gunshots, Akram was dead and all four hostages were safe. I'm also extremely proud of the team of negotiators, FBI agents and local police officers who worked all day long. And it's very likely this situation would have ended very badly early on in the day had we not had professional, consistent negotiation with the subject. The rabbi said in the last hour of the standoff that Akram was getting increasingly belligerent. And the rabbi said that he and the other hostages were able to escape due in part to the fact that they had been going through active shooter and security training over the last several years. And the numbers showed that that training is needed. 2020 had the third highest rate of anti-Semitic incidents since the ADL started recording them in 1979. Tony? Just an, just an amazing data point there, an amazing work by law enforcement. Omar, thank you.